Check out that catfish. Are you freaking kidding me right now? All right, we're home. It is now time to work on the John boat to bass boat conversion build. So I think I'm gonna start with attaching all of this, get these sides attached, and then we'll jump to the back and get all of this attached. We still need to attach this piece and Nate's lid, but I think we need to address this. In the last video, I mentioned that I wasn't able to screw this down and it can flop around. I mean, it's hard to flop around, but everyone was saying I should still try to screw it down or even get longer um, rivets to drill in to hold it in place. And I agree because when we're on the lake, the boat is gonna vibrate a lot and that might make a lot of noise. I mean, it, it is hard to lift up, but still, I'm gonna go ahead and get some screws and screw that into place over here so it doesn't move. Yeah, I still need to attach all this and, and attach this piece of angle right here as well. But yeah, we're gonna start up here. All right, so there is that piece attached to the hinge. And this piece is what made doing that super hard because I wanted this piece to stay flush with the wall. So I had to do a few re-drills into this piece just to make sure that was flush, and it is. So we're good there. This piece will butt up against that. And then over here, but we're not worried about that just yet. Let's go ahead and get this attached here. So I got all the framing attached. It is all secure. Now we can drop on this sheeting here. All right, let's go ahead and lock her in place. Get some rivets going. So we got all of this pressed on. Now I need to go ahead and get this piece in. That's just to fill up that gap right there so there's not a hole. Beautiful. Okay, that's gonna close my gap. So I need to drill that out and make sure it doesn't move. We're gonna put one more rivet in there just so it stays. All right, so there we got all the sides all attached looking good now now we need to deal with this mess back here once again i still need to cut out this corner i can't really do that until i get the front all decked out because i'll have the leftover metal then so let's not worry about this because i want to get this middle piece on today and then we can worry about this mess some other day whenever i can but it can't be today oh crap actually you know what I forgot I still need to attach this angle. Okay, so to attach this piece of angle, I need to cut some angle and attach it here to make a wall on the end so I can attach it. So
So now we need to add this piece right in here. I want a five inch gap from the transom. All right, there's that piece installed. Now that piece can sit there. I need to cut this piece out and this piece for the angle there as well. So, all right, so this piece will go here inside the foam just to hide the foam whenever this lid opens up. And now I need to rivet this piece in right there. Boom. So when that was there, I lifted up this lid and you could see the pink foam right here. So now when I open this up, it will just be all metal. That gap will be gone too. So just to make it look a little bit better. All right, so I got all the support pieces I wanted to add added. And now we can throw this all back together. This will sit here. This piece will sit here. That will butt up right there. And then this piece. And this piece. That will go there. Piece of sh poopy. Ah, I couldn't even see it. It's right here in front of me. Camouflage. All right, so I'm just gonna drill this and hope it doesn't move. So I want to go ahead and place this piece there underneath it. So I need clamps. Alright, there's that piece attached. Alright, next piece. Bam! Alright, second piece added. Let's go ahead and add this piece. Dude, I could probably add a piece of hat channel to support that. That might be better than adding these. Maybe not, I don't know. I just so happen to have this leftover piece of hat channel. So here's what I'm thinking. So first off, let's see where this hat channel ends. Oh, way up there. I'll do one cross beam. One that actually fits there. I mean, it won't be seen, it'll be underneath. It's just really to make this deck stronger, so. Because this is going to be where I'm sitting. On the lid here and then here. So I might as well just throw two. I mean that's like nothing in weight. So we'll throw two there just to make that nice and strong for me to sit on. And then we'll have the hat channel here. Let's go ahead and drill out the holes in this. There it is, that piece is done. We got hat channel there, and then two pieces of square tubing. That is plenty of support. So now that piece is all done and connected, 
but I cannot connect this piece until I get longer screws. All right, it is the next morning. So I went out and got some countersink stainless steel screws. So I need to find the right size bit here. That's too big. I'm not sure how this screw is gonna screw into this metal, <clears throat> but we'll see, I guess. So, okay, we're gonna start with this one and we'll go bigger if we need to. I just plan to add three screws right here just to hold all this down. So right there, I went through the sheeting, the three quarter tubing and the piece of angle underneath it. Now we just gotta see how the screw does screwing through metal. Sweet, aluminum is a soft metal, so I figured it would work. No, not what I wanted. Stainless steel sucks, man. It just freaking broke. Not good. Not good at all. I mean, it's held down. That, that worked. I'm just gonna uh, grind that down. You won't see it. That sucks. Okay, we definitely need a bigger hole. Let me grind this down so it's all flat and then we'll try again. All right, attempt number two, bigger hole. Let's see what happens. It's going in easier. Okay. Sweet. Okay, that was the right size bit. What size is this? 964. I'm not sure what size the screw is, but the screw threads are a little bit thicker than that. So now we just need to run the countersink and it should work perfect from here on out. All right, she's nice and tight. Sweet. Okay, so that's gonna work. That's not gonna flop around anywhere. Perfect. We got 15 screws. So we got this piece and then we got to screw down all of this and then that piece as well. And then all the framing underneath the lid. Move down to bench rivets. We got screws. No, not what I wanted. Stainless still sucks, man. Don't break on me, you bastard. Freaking beautiful, man. Heck yes. Okay. That is solid. I still need to add more, but that's just to hold it in place. I didn't secure down the deck on my last boat build. So this deck being this secure down to the boat is gonna be freaking awesome. No worrying while I'm driving down the road, I don't have to worry about a whole entire deck flying out. This deck is all gonna be secure and solid. Thank you to whoever said use these screws, these countersink screws, cause I didn't even think about it. And it's working like a charm. Minus the first one, but that was my fault. Use the wrong freaking size hole. Eight left. That's not good. That's two per side, which should be enough, uh, honestly. T per side, and then we can just attack it with rivets. And then that will be it for this video. So just so y'all know, this piece here is attached under this just so it's all one solid piece on this face and then that will butt up against that there this piece looking solid man 
All right, so there is all the framing for the lid. Let's go ahead and get the lid back on. And I want this lid to be all the way butted up against this piece here. So no gap whatsoever over here. And then of course it needs to be butted up against this edge here. So it's all flush with this wall. She's in place, so let's lock her in. She's now officially attached to the deck. And now we can install this hose to where it needs to be. All right, now we have water runoff. If any water gets in this lid, it'll hit the dry track and go down the hose into the back of the boat. Freaking sweet. All right, that's only one side though. We still got three more to go. Nice and flush with the wall, baby. Alright, there is the lid all attached that is strong and sturdy. She'll never fly out or anything. <laughs> Imagine everything just flies off the boat. But that was something I worried about on the last build. Won't have to worry about it on this build. Everything is nice and secured and attached. No more flapping corner over there. We got the middle piece all attached. Looking freaking good. So, now what? Um, I think that's it for this video, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum everything out because the boat is a freaking horrible mess right now. I may go ahead and add a few more rivets. All right, she's now officially installed. That is all done, looking freaking sick. It's all flush, looks really good. Man, I am digging this. All right, let's go ahead and vacuum out the boat. All right, here's how we're sitting. We got all the decking from here back done besides that pesky corner back there but uh yeah man this looks sick here it is all open with all the lids got the freaking day box installed wood all this decking back here is installed and secure no more loose panel back here it's all solid dude this looks so freaking sick all right boys there she is i still need to finish this corner and add this piece of decking here and secure all of this but other than that all of this is done looks freaking sweet in the next video i will be attaching all these lids to the hinges because these still are not attached so we'll get that done tomorrow and then get this all attached as well and then go get a piece of a quilt behind it and all that stuff so yeah we are almost there guys Guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. No more worries. It's all secured. Nothing flapping around back here. It's all tightly screwed down. Wish my dang light was screwed down because it falls over. But guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you all in the next one. Peace. Ah!